So how do you feel about the Bella's Talk Day initiative? I absolutely love it. I think it brings the nation to together, um, allows people to have a voice and be able to speak up and not feel that they're being, you know, prejudiced against or if that's even the right term to use, but it's kind of just, it's that, you know, that the reminder that we're all human and that, you know, we're not perfect and that it's just, you know, the, the more we talk, the more we educate, because education is power, right? So I think if we come together, that it, we can we can make a change. You know, it's a good initiative. I like all the posts on social media, all the attention it's getting. It's really good for the community and everybody else that's suffering with anything like that. I feel like there are many people who are suffering from mental illness and they don't know who to talk to and they don't know how to say like words, like how to express themselves. And through Bell Let's Talk, they feel like they are welcome to talk to anyone and then they can express their opinion and how they're feeling and they can get like what whatever help they want through this. And what do you think Brock as a campus can do to continue the conversation after Bella's talk there? I think being able to being able to provide resources for people that, you know, it's not just, you know, for like if, you know, severe situation or anything. I think it can be something that can happen around the clock. Um, you know, you can text anyone. I know I know we have that kind of stuff, but I want something that, you know, Ballot, ballot talk initiatives like throughout the year. Like it should be an everyday thing, once a month thing, you know, like I think being able to give their students a voice and that yet yeah, they're not just a dollar sign, you know, it's they do they, they matter, they value the people that come here and make them feel like they're it's a safe place, you know. And to keep the conversation going, I think it's great if um, such as student wellness and accessibility services, um, students are aware of them um, and we continuously like, promote those services, health services, personal counseling, um, and really get, it, um, really get it out there that these services are always here for students. And what are some tips you have on dealing with mental health? Um, just reach out and talk to someone. Um, no matter what your situation is, someone will always try to help you out. Always someone to talk to. Make sure you're open for people to talk to you. Always and uh... um, I think staying positive is like a main and like a very very top thing that I would say. Tips for mental health. I would say definitely that it's okay not to be okay. And if whether you take an active role in trying to help someone else get the help they need or um, realizing that it's okay to reach out to others if you're having a hard time, um, I think it's really important too. Alright guys, this concludes another episode of Hallway Holdouts. Remember to always seek help, always stay positive, and keep the conversation going.